This weekend, we're at the Texas Collegiate Challenge 2017. We've kind of had to modify a few things at this event. The wind has howled all day today. Uh, this is the first official practice day that the anglers have had today. It's been blowing 20 mile an hour. Tomorrow it's going to blow again, but <clears throat> out of a different direction. So we're going to allow them to trailer at this event. Looking at the Cabela's forecast, anglers will be launching under cloudy skies with temps in the low 40s. But the big story is the wind. It's switched directions and will be blowing 15 to 25 with gusts in the 30s. Lake Texoma, tell me about it. It's been rough for us, you know, we had not really had that many fish we got on. I mean, we got on a few yesterday, so we're going to go out there and give it a shot and see what we can come up with. Not going to tell you too much, there's people listening, but I'll be, I'll be shallow. I'll be shallow and I'm not going far. This practice has been uh, fairly good for us, but uh, we feel like this weather's probably going to change things up a little bit, but we think we can go out and get them. I feel pretty good. We're excited. The weather's terrible and the wind's awful, but we'll see what we can get out there and do. Bryan College has two teams on the water at this event, and we'll check in with both by day's end. But first, we'll begin tournament coverage with Mason Moore and Hunter Hastings fishing for West Texas A&M. We, uh, we came in here this morning, back here behind these boat houses. We know there's some fish bedded back in here. Um, we started out this morning throwing a, a small Texas rig. Um, after the team trail, these, these fish are fairly finicky everywhere. Um, so we tried, started small, hoping that would do it, and uh, changing things up a little bit to figure out what it is they're wanting. We know they're here, it's just a matter of getting them to bite. Been running this crankbait. Try to worm this morning. Trying to get some of these, hopefully, bedding in here in the shallows along these rocks. So far, I hadn't worked yet. Moving on, we'll check in with Nathan Martin and Austin Mize, fishing for the University of North Alabama. They're currently ranked second in the Cabela's School of the Year standings. Uh, we're starting out on a little shad spawn. Actually, not a little one. It's a giant shad spawn. Um, Friday, we came in here. We was running down the lake, and literally the shad spawn so big we could see it running. We stopped, made like three casts, called a two, two and a half, three pounder, had another blow up, and left. So we just start here this morning trying to hopefully give us a limit go from there conditions are totally different than Friday huge cold front high pressure just gonna have to stay on our toes fish the conditions try and not get in too big of a hurry not get spun out that's the biggest thing not getting spun out. You can flip and pitch with the best of them, but the mental game is always the common denominator between those at the top and those that just show up. Hey, we're loving all the pics getting posted to Facebook and Instagram. Keep them coming. If you get a good shot, let us know. Hashtag WeAreCollegiateBass.